Hey, what up, y'all? Just wanted to show y'all a quick way on how I uh, make a SP beat strictly uh, in the logic. In the logic, like I already chopped everything. I chop all my samples, and I'm just trying to do that to track out my track so it makes it easier and I can mix it. I mean, I come myself when I'm making SP beats, uh, I find myself taking forever to chop it, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, for example, what I did first uh i uh i found me some drums on this case and then i just chopped them up played them out in here so i played them on my sp like this say i had other drums and i made a loop or whatever say you make your loop so here's the loop i had see so i it's already on uh obviously it's already on in logic or any die you use so it's already tracked out so now I can process my drums. That's done. Okay. Next thing, let's say I have my sample chops. So, so here's the sample chops I had, so you can see. So let me turn them up. All right. So, and then I processed them. So it made it easier. I already did all the processing and it's already ready to go. So quick little thing. I mean, I think if you do the extra work, you know a little early say it takes you an extra 10 minutes to chop it up once you get good at the sp you already got it chopped up and then now it's already laid down you can lay down your chorus your verse whatever right and now you got to do is just mix it so this is what it sounds like all right so that's what all my stuff mixed everything i got doing to it and then all my extra effects and uh so this is what it sounds like this is a good way to make all SP beats into your uh, DAW. I mean, and you can just obviously, if you want to do it your own, the old school way, which is I do that too. But sometimes I just want to track it out and make it sound even better. So this is what I came up with. This is a little quick tip. I hope you guys like it. Use it. It's an SP hack. Check it out. So obviously that's how it works sorry about that feedback so that's what you do you know you chop it all up uh in the sp you got all chopping you just play it live i mean it gives your beats more realistic feel i mean if you mess up obviously in a die you can just put it together make the chops go well and then you can go on a die and edit and do everything so and boom you got a mix and you got a beat you can put the time uh stretch in there you can use serato sample you can use all kind of stuff to find out like how what your time signature is if you don't know me i just like to make it a mystery on this i just play it and make it fit and it's, it works that way so this is a quick little hack another sp tip hey i uh, hope you guys like it use it use it on your dial i know most of us have dials nowadays days so you can even like uh if you wanted to you can if you don't have it like for example you can play this into your machine and sample it and then all you got to do is cue it you know what i'm saying so or like if you got FL Studio, Logic, Ableton, perfect. And then you can just go back out of our Logic like I showed you and then perform it. So do all kind of cool stuff in this. So you made a whole beat, tracked it out. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Keep the SB beats coming. Tag me, hit me up, Instagram. Peace.